everyone, this is the last video in this series. Halloween is done. I couldn't really get a whole lot of recording done that night just because I didn't, I couldn't really do it myself and nobody else was really available to record either. But I'll show you a walkthrough of the haunt now that it's completely finished. I live on a really boring street. Very little trick-or-treaters, nobody decorates for Halloween. It's kind of dark, it's quiet. If there's anyone that's gonna come, I'm gonna have to advertise a little bit. We finally did come up with a name for the haunted house, we called it the Halls of Horror. And what I did is I put a big sign in my yard, which is just a drop cloth on a wooden frame, and I put a light behind it to kind of advertise at night. So I almost literally have a billboard in my front yard. The other thing I did, was I took some foam board and I made three different signs and I hung them around my neighborhood on three different entrances to the neighborhood kind of pointing to my street a week ahead of time along with the sign. It worked out awesome. I couldn't get over. It, it, it was stupid how many people we had. Last year I'd say I probably got maybe 20 kids and you know we just decorate our garage and stuff like this. Uh, we had easily a hundred kids not including adults we had a lot of adults going through and multiple times. Um, everybody had a, an absolute blast. I had a blast, Vicky had a blast. The, the people that were helping me had fun. I mean, I, I was in there and I would, I'd peek out and I'm like looking at these like lines of kids down the sidewalk, like 15, 20 people deep. I'm like, what, I've, what I, I never expected to have lines like that. So anyway, here's a quick little thing I got on Halloween night and then I, I'll take you on a more detailed walkthrough. Okay, so it's really hard to get a walk through. I'm just gonna try to do it right now. We're in the middle of trick or treat, so here we go. I'm obviously not in there, so I'm just showing you. But yeah, and I didn't. All right, we got our entrance here. All right, we got our black light room. Ah! That was babe face. Go around to this wall here. <laughs> Hold on a minute. At the end there, we actually had kids going through, so I had to stop immediately. As you can see, I didn't have any time really to get recording done, so this is the next day and I'll take you on a more detailed version of what you just saw. Okay, so we're showing you this after the fact trick-or-treat was last night. This is a sign Dickie put together on a pallet. I've got a light here shining so they can read the rules. We'll go in our entrance. This is just to try to block some sunlight because the very first room is our black light room. Now last night I did have plastic covering this entire entrance so all sunlight was blocked. I obviously had to rip it down so the garage door can close. I was sure to put padding around corners so people didn't, you know, little kids didn't hurt themselves or whatever. Um, but yeah, right now it's just kind of a mess. But anyway, we'll just continue in here. And this goes into our black light room. Sorry, and our very first scare is right here. You can't even see it really. There's a curtain here. Let me turn off lights. So when they come around the corner, we can get them right here. And you, you don't even see it coming. All right, so then we continue on. Uh, we've got a, a laser over there pointing here and with the fog, this laser room looks really cool. Our second scare can be right here behind the curtain, so as soon as they come around, we can get them right here if we want. Moving on. Originally, I wanted to do a drop panel here, and I just, again, just kind of ran out of time. The walls were already made and whatever. I'll probably do a drop panel next year. Uh, but if you see the videos, here's our wall. 
we put up uh, wallpaper. We got some, you know, picture frames, and we put blood on the walls here. This is a nine cent TV that we kind of, you know, bloodied up. All right, uh, moving on. I'm strangling myself on. We have a fishing line hanging from because you know you can't see it. It's a little eerie when it touches you. Moving around. This is our uh, second corpse that we ever made. And she is supposed to have sound, but does not have sound. So right now she just moves around, basically. Alright, moving on. Do you want to show them that scare? Oh. Oh yeah, so these walls are pallets. Except for here is a sheet, and yeah, <laughs> so I could get a scare here and reach out to people as they were turning the corner. I can I can hide multiple places. Uh, you know when they're when they're coming around, I can I can get them right here if I want. I can get them around this corner too. Uh, now we enter kind of the, our spider web room, I guess you'd call it. This is the first corpse we ever made. This is Froderick, and he is Igor. And those of you who are cool will get those references. My control panel uh, with all my electrical stuff is behind here. I just didn't want it displayed, so it's kind of covered. This dummy. Uh, in the fog and with the music and with all that playing, you can't tell whether he's real or not. Now he's kind of broken right now, but uh, if you see behind here, show your light, there's a, a pipe running into this, this other side of this wall so we can lunge him out at people. From behind here, we head into kind of our exit. And the very last thing people see is Oscar, and this is my pneumatic guy that I made. As you can tell, his mask has kind of come off, but yeah, so that's the last thing people see, and then we had straight to our, our exit here. We've got a couple of skeletons around. So I'm gonna turn on the lights for just a minute. Which did not make a difference in here. So here is uh, we hung some black felt to block the stairs that go into the house. And here was kind of where me and Vicky were hiding most of the night. We kind of set up a black felt shower curtain here. This is that first room into the black light room so we can get the scare here. We can operate this guy right here, flip my switch for Oscar. Here is, uh, I can operate the fog machine for this room, and uh, we did most of our, our hiding in here. And then we uh, just exit this, this paper come off the wall, but okay. So yeah, that is, that's basically a walkthrough with no fog, no music, uh, so you can kind of see what it looked like. And just like that, as quickly as it arrived, it was time to tear it all down again. Which was a heartbreaking process, knowing all the work and time that went into this. But as much as we would love this to be normal, there is more to the year and life must go on. Chances are you're a lot like us, in that we have a passion. That passion costs us a lot of time, money, late nights, 
weekends, time with family, friends, storage space, sanity, and lots and lots of trips to Home Depot. But in the end, after all the laughter and screams, it makes all this chaos totally worth it. I feel like this project was our way of taking the plunge into the next step. Now that we've opened this new door, so to speak, I know we'll definitely do this again. Only next time, it will be bigger and better. Thank you for watching, and may every day be a happy Halloween. Thank <laughs> you.